In this video, I'll show you what to do about the missing file browser. Now it used to be here in this pane, but it's no longer there. It has been removed. Now you can still import things. You can press the import button, you can head to the desktop and you could grab one or more files. And if they were an image sequence, you can tick that box and you know, that's fine. You can grab things and import them and they'll work pretty well. If I was to go to the finder and let's say I want to just drag this file and go back to motion. Yep, that still works as well. So you've always had drag and drop and it still works fine. But there's some kinds of files that you can't actually bring in this way. If I was to try to import a motion shape, and there are a few classes of motion specific files, like these shapes here, which are fairly obscure. And the only way to bring them in was through the file browser. I can't import them and I can't open them. So how can I bring them in then? Well, looking over here in the library, I can see that I've still got a lot of content. For example, some of these symbols, some of these vector art are actually the same kinds of files. Now, a quick way to get access to the favorites folder where you're going to put your files is to just favorite one of these items by dragging it to favorites. Then right click and reveal in finder. Now it shows me that file, that's a .molo file. And I've actually got a heap of other things I'd like to be able to bring in. I'll select all of those and just copy them into that favorites folder. As soon as I flick back to motion, I've got access to these paths. And I can just drag them in quite easily. So on the off chance you do have one of these odd files, which you could only access through the file browser, you can still access it. You'll just need to make it a favorite first.